Hi 101 and 102. This is a how-to video for how to annotate your Google document. In order to do this, you will need two tools. We're going to be using the comment tool right here and the highlight tool right here. So to add a comment on something that you found interesting in the article, you need to click and drag to highlight what you want to add a comment to and then either click the add comment button up here or where it pops up over here on the side, okay? you will click, wow, that's so cool, right? If I said, hmm, it goes all the way back to the 1800s, that's so cool. Oh boy, I cannot type. I never knew that. And then click comment to save it. If you don't click comment, it will go away, okay? If I want to change my mind or get rid of it, I can click resolve. Um, I can also go to the three dots and click delete. I'm gonna click resolve. Um, if you wanted to change it, so let's say I wanted to add here, I'm gonna say, hmm, don't know what Morse is, but I want to actually edit it. Three dots, edit, <clears throat> go back. Ah, that's right, that's the dots and lines communication. I remember that now, click save, okay? Um, you can add as many comments to things uh, that you want in your document. To highlight important things, okay? Um, like a year. And what that year means, not an entire paragraph, but small important things. You click and drag, same idea, and go up to the highlight color. So if you notice right now there's no color on here because there's no highlight, you are going to click a light color. So please nothing dark, nothing blue, nothing down here. Click a light color. I'm gonna just use yellow. And you notice that that highlight stays. If I wanna get rid of it, because I actually don't want to highlight that, I highlight it again, click and drag, Click none. I want no color on that. And that's how you do that. You will need to use the highlighting to show which answer you choose for question number two. So for question number two, if I want it to do be A, I will highlight that. Oh, undo that. I make that mistake all the time. I want it to be A. Um, if I want to change my mind, go to highlight, click none, and choose a different answer. Okay. Um, and that's that. That is highlighting and annotating in Google Documents. If you have any questions or any comments about this process, please leave them in the comment section and I will see those on my email. Thanks very much and have fun with this assignment. Bye guys.